Hey everyone, welcome back. As most of us know, the dev stream last Friday revealed a few big things coming in the updates, most notably the Forma change. Unlike weapons which rely only on mods but retain their full base stats and capabilities with Forma, Warframes do not retain their full stats or their abilities currently when forma they reset to their base state, and even locked until the requisite Warframe rank is reached. After the coming update, we are keeping access to abilities now based on our MR when we reset Warframe ranks. What does this mean? It means you won't have a shell of a Warframe anymore when you Forma. You won't be forced to throw on survivability mods so you can unlock their kit to use again. But, one big but. It scales with MR, so this means you need to be at least MR10 to match a Warframe being rank 10, which is where you would normally gain access to their fourth ability immediately, at its base power rank. This also means once you reach MR30, every form of reset will treat your frame like their rank 30, which is when the highest rank of the fourth ability is reached. It's a nice change that makes leveling frames less annoying when you need to form them multiple times to reach their full potential. Now, some people have mentioned this is a wonderful thing, which is true, and that it makes other leveling methods viable and a Darrow is no longer needed. The point of this video is actually to show you today this actually isn't true. In fact, this was actually a massive buff to Adero self-leveling. While the other methods of leveling are now better, Adero benefited equally, and it's even easier than ever before to self-level using this method after the changes go live. Now, why is this? Both Thermal Sunder and Adero Stealth Leveling strats depend on helminting an ability onto your frame. While Thermal Sunder scales with leveling your Warframe for its damage and range, people forget this also applies to Silence for Adero. The number one irritating problem with Silence Stealth Leveling solo in Adero is that the Silence ability has garbage base range and duration at rank 0 and gains huge amounts of range and duration by max rank 3. Realistically, Silence usually only reaches rank 2 when you're in Adero because the bonus EXP will cap out the rest of your levels to 30, but there is still a massive range and duration difference between rank 0 and rank 2. This makes it difficult to efficiently mod for because too little radius means enemies will see you before you can kill them, especially if you aren't fast enough, and too much range means their stun will end before you can kill them, meaning they will see you, so you have to find a balance in the middle. This means at the start of Adero, your silence has annoyingly low duration and less range than optimal, meaning you need to be careful to not alert enemies. And by the end of Adero, you need to go fast because your silence now has excessive range and is stunning enemies further away than optimal, so you need to close the distance to kill them before they cover. This is actually the reason why, personally, I don't use silence for Adero. I've been using Magus Lockdown almost exclusively up until now because it has a fixed amount of range that never changes across the run and doesn't rely on energy, or has a duration. With practice, you can consistently max a frame from 0 to 30 in one run with a booster, but it is an extremely active playstyle that takes much more practice than even Silence. Even the Brahma Savage Silence strat often fails to max in one run due to breaking stealth multipliers too often, and especially with the Silence that ranges between rank 0 and 2. So you can imagine the difficulty involved in trying to consistently level your frames to 30 in one run with Magus Lockdown. The Forma change makes this much easier. If you're power leveling frames in Adero, I would presume you're at least MR14, as that is the minimum requirement for Silence to be rank 2 when subsumed onto the first slot of a frame once the update goes live. Therefore, you only need to consider the range and duration of a rank 2 Silence. Maybe if you do another one, it will be rank 3, but it is still much easier to build around an ability that doesn't drastically change range and duration as you level up and already has pretty solid stats to go off of at the start. This means your runs will be more consistent and less hectic. It also means you only need one build for any frame you bring into Adero, no matter its frame or its rank, so long as you're at least MR14. So let's take a look at this build, shall we? The most important thing is these frames must have a Orican reactor for the build to fit. Then again, I presume the only reason why you'd want to Adero a frame is because you're speed leveling so you can slap on several Forma. An Orican reactor is a pretty safe bet in that case. Otherwise, why would you be watching this? Now I'm going to reference with my Banshee, as that's what I was doing the run with. This is a max rank Banshee, but at rank 2, Silence has 15 meters at 100% range and lasts 20 seconds at 100% duration. The perfect Silence range in normal play is typically 12 to 15 meters because you can freely enter and exit that range to reset the stun. For stealth leveling, we're modding it for 130% range for a rank 2 silence, which would correspond to 19.5 meters at rank 2 instead. 
This is because we want to keep it outside of the alert range that ensure enemies are stunned before they see us. The Savage Silence augment is also extremely important. Normally enemies become alerted after being affected by an ability, including silence wearing off. The augment has an undocumented effect of preventing enemies from becoming alerted after silence's stun ends. This allows you to freely enter and leave the radius to restun enemies as needed without setting off their alert state, whether because you didn't notice them or couldn't kill them fast enough. Premature Footed is extremely important if you go the Brahma route. It's still useful for the melee method, but not as important. But if you don't have Premature Footed, you can run Sure Footed, Power Drift, and a rank 1 Fortitude over the Augur Message slot instead. This will still grant you 100% knockdown resistance and fits on a zero form build. But if the frame can't fit these builds for some reason, maybe less than 8 polarities, the first mod to go will always be Augur Message, and if not possible because you've already swapped it out for Fortitude, then you can swap for regular continuity instead of Primed. Preparation ensures you always have enough energy to cast Silence at the start, and Fleeting Expertise keeps the cost down. Just make sure to recast your silence whenever it drops, as it only has a duration of 24 seconds at a rank 2 with 119 duration and not the 36 listed here. The arcanes are not that important, but I'm just running acceleration to shoot Kuva Brahma faster. If you're using the melee method, then I would slot arcane strike to swing faster instead, but like I said, neither of these are really needed. The first arcane can be whatever, energize if you want for the Brahma strat, or arcane fury for the melee method if you feel like you still need more strength. It's entirely up to you. For the Brahma build, it's just a generic Krosa Brahma like this. If you don't want to use this or can't fit or don't have the Prime Bane of Grenier, you can just use Heavy Caliber. There's a lot of leeway. You can run Point Strike if you don't have Critical Delay, but it does let you pass 100% crit chance on every shot. Vile Acceleration lets you charge shots super fast, and Vigilante Supplies gives you all the arrows you need to complete the Darrow run. Merciless is useful, but the build still works without it. And Prime Firestorm for that massive extra blast radius for 13.78 meter range. If you go the melee route, I would actually recommend Guandao and or Guandao Prime. This one is Radiation, but honestly, either Crocif and Radiation will both work for a Darrow. If you have a fully decked out build, Orthos Prime works very well also. You can drop the Prime Smite for Spring Loaded Blade if you don't want to run it, as it will give you range out to 7 meters. Berserker Fury is interchangeable with Prime Fury, but because you are solo and this is an exterminate mission and you're rushing through it, you can guarantee frequent kills, so I would prefer Berserker Fury for its larger buff since Guandao is a slower polearm. If you're using Orthos, well, I guess Prime Fury is fine. This is also why I recommend stacking with Arcane Strike if you have it for a net 125% extra attack speed. Running Double Sacrificial allows Guandao to reach 105% crit chance. If you're using Guandao Prime, you can instead use just Sacrificial Steel and Prime Pressure Point to save 2 Mon points and get more base damage as well as being compatible with a V polarity. The Prime will still reach 102.4 critical chance because it has base 32 crit instead of 28. Finally, I would recommend bringing a Smita Kavat for a Darrow Runs because it can give the affinity buff with its charm ability, though rarely. This will make it much easier to reliably level a frame to rank 30 in a single run by making up for mistakes. Beyond that, it's just the affinity booster. If you have a booster, you can always max in one run provided you play it cleanly. If you don't have a booster, it'll probably take two. Also, Affinity Blessings from True Master's Font also affects this farm and makes it much more tolerant to mistakes. You can still max a frame to 30 in one run with Affinity Booster while breaking stealth multiple times if you have an Affinity Blessing present from the font. Finally, Neramon does not affect the Warframe gain of EXP, it only affects the melee weapon's gain itself. So this means you can bring Xenoric for Silence Energy Regen. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like or better yet subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying my best to get you new information out always as soon as possible like I've done with covering the Sisters of Harvest and Plague Star updates. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. I'm also prepared to get you info first once more new war info drops. You don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? And that'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time.